Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien, and this is American Idol Sunday Waffles. Last week was all about New Orleans. Here are some Cajun waffles for you. I walked around Bourbon Street, you know, the famous street, and it reminded me of a slightly more humid version of the Jersey Shore. Wholesome family fun. After New Orleans was Austin, Texas. I actually really liked Austin. I didn't think that I would like anything about Texas being a Giants fan. It was a lot of Boulder and Denver combined into one with the heat index of, I don't know, Satan's living room. It was very hot. We were only in Austin for two nights, so we crammed in as much drinking and eating as humanly possible. We went up to 6th Street and bar hopped a bit. Apparently this stretch of town gets pretty rowdy on the weekends. They claws... Claws. Arr! They close off the entire block, so it becomes like one huge block party of debauchery. Thanks to a Mr. Chad Baker for the nightlife recommendation on the Sunday Waffles fan page. Facebook.com slash Sunday Waffles. Started out with Niche. It had some live music duo. I think they go by the name OJ and Caleb. <laughs> This guy had so much whiskey that he actually thought he was Jimi Hendrix, reincarnated. He gets up, walks up to OJ and Caleb, takes the guitar, and starts to play Foo Fighters. Right now, it's weird, because I'm drunk, and I look over, and I'm supposed to see Caleb, and you're not Caleb. Yeah, I don't think he was trying to leave with any, any girls or any dignity at all. We said goodbye to OJ and Caleb and strolled down to a bar named Handlebar, which is a mustache-themed bar. <laughs> With all of the drinking, we had to have some sort of food, so we strolled down the street and found this really, really good Italian place. It was all about brick oven pizza. The pizza was great, but it wasn't the main focus. My favorite part of this experience was the little ricotta cheesecake that came in the adorable mason jar. So, so good. Completely satisfied with dairy, garlic, Italian, oh my god, there's a wasp on my window. Get out of here. It didn't work. We continued walking down 6th Street and lo and behold, a karaoke place in a Chinese food restaurant. <sighs> Made friends with one of the waiters and we sang a delightful duet. Let's just say it was from the heart and the harmonies were atrocious. From there we hit the road on our way into Colorado. We stopped for dinner at Mama E's barbecue pit. Most authentic barbecue I may have ever had. They were super helpful. They actually ordered for me. I don't even remember what we ordered. But I want it. They just, you know, kind of took matters into their own hands. I said I wanted brisket and they set me up. Then they went above and beyond the call of duty. They actually helped me assemble the brisket sandwich the way it's supposed to be had. We left Mama E's barbecue pit extremely full and covered in barbecue sauce. We got on the highway and passed a few firework stands, America, and then found a cowboy store. Need I say more? This is the first week in a while that I don't actually know what's gonna happen next. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned, find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash sundaywaffles, and I will see you next time. Oh, you're so cute in like a threatening, scary way. Things that I do for your general entertainment. And because I'm bored. <laughs> Had some scrambled eggs and crispy, delicious bacon. We're gonna go to Handlebars, see? We're gonna have a bunch of whiskey and even more booze and all of the booze and it will be mine. <laughs> oh, bacon with everything, please. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna stop that now. If there were things that I could take calories out of, it would be pizza and cheese at all of the cheeses and bacon. Yeah, that's a bit. That's, yeah. Punch! Okay. And we're back.